Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the JCR SQL 2. In AEM, you can write a search query using either Query Builder, which I have already explained in previous tutorials, and the JCR SQL 2. Though it is not recommended to use JCR SQL 2 because of some performance reasons, but still, in some cases, you have to write SQL 2, and you must know how you can write SQL 2 query and how you can execute that in AEM. If you have already worked with SQL2, then you will feel familiar uh, with the syntax of SQL2. So in this, you select uh, using the select statement, select extract from, and now you must mention from what you need to select. Let's say if you add NT base, that means you're supposed to select from every node from JCR content repository. You can add any option here as per the primary type available in AEM. So you can select from page, DAM assets, unstructured or page content or whatever the primary type available in AEM. In real scenarios, you will not be searching throughout the uh, repository or throughout the AEM. You will be searching through a specific path or from a specific site. So for that, you can add a descendant node and in each descendant node, you can mention your path from where exactly you are searching the content and where you can add this where as you add in SQL as well. Now let's say you are searching pages in CQ pages from a geek site and you want a specific nodes or the page which has a name AM geeks. So for that you can add a condition end and there's available names inside names you can mention what the name of the page or the node whatever it is selecting or the name should be right now let's say i need a page which has a name am geek so that result set will give you the page which has the name of result set okay now let's say you found some page and you want to check some properties available or not right you are searching to get some data let's say i'm saying okay i need a if you remove this let's remove this okay i'm saying i need a pages from a geek site whose JCR title is not null. So it will give you the result of the pages whose title is not null. Okay. Now let's say if you want to search the pages for a particular title, let's say I need a title means I need a pages which has a title a geeks, right? So you can use contains and you can use and even if it is not required, that's fine. Even if property is not there, it will not come page will not come in result set. So let's say contains JCR title is equal to means this is how you can use contains AM geek. So it will give you the pages which has a title of AM geeks. You can uh, arrange your result set using order by there is a space in order and by by default if you say you can add use any property to arrange it you can add you know create a date or something by default is it's ascending order if you want that result set to be arranged in descending order then you have to use descend this query works perfectly and this is the perfect query but uh, let me explain something here so you see the jcr title right you're getting jcr title but from where you're getting this jcr title you don't know right so what is happening when this query select it will keep every result set in memory and from that result set means the result it fetch this data means the result is page right from the page it check the jcr title uh, and it and this created date and perform search based on these but we don't know right uh, means what exactly where it is stored so in case let's say i need a variable or an object where i can see like a uh, this this each result set can i can you know where i can store each result set let's say the, in this query there should be a variable or object where while running this query every time that object is stored so for that what i can do i can uh, use a s okay s and then you can give any variable name so how you can do that so you see here i use s and then node you can give any name node is not mandatory you can at XYZ now you will be using this throughout your query so that at least you know being a developer you know okay I'm getting properties from this basically the every time when the search execute for each result each result is save in this and then you are using it so now if you see 
now I'm using name of this node, right? And I'm getting this JCI title from this node. Every time, whatever property I'm getting, getting from this node. In the previous version, that was happening in memory itself. Now I can define, okay, I'm using this node for further processing. This is one more important thing here, like, right? If you want to search a substring from your result set, means for your result set, then you can use like. Okay, so what you can do, the query is exactly same now using like how you can do, okay, search your either title or whatever you are searching, get that property and say like. In like, you can add multiple, you know, ways how you want to filter your result. Let's say this, this one, percentage after gigs. That means this, this result means this title should end with gigs and before that it can have anything. Or you can say, or same way it will work before and after. If you put this percentage after, that means it should start with geeks and end. It can be anything. Here, there should be a substring geeks. Here, it, there should be a single character before this geeks. And that character can be anything. But after that, it can be any string. Uh, you can search for the asset type as well. Let's say I need a PNG. The type is PNG before that name can be anything in this way you can search anything that you can add number of the combination what you need as per your requirement. This is just a simple use case how you can build SQL2 query. There are very complex queries you can write using SQL2. So in coming tutorial I will explain those. Now let's understand how you can run this query in AEM. To run this query in AEM go to the CRXTE tools and query so one console will be open then you have to choose type in type you can choose either xpath sql and sql2 we suppose to working with sql2 so select sql2 i will not select path here because i will add path uh, using is descendant in query itself okay so my pages are uh, cq page content type and as i hit it will give me a error like you cannot traverse more than 100k assets or nodes and reason being is by default AM allow you to search less than 100k nodes because of the performance issues so if you want to search more than that you have to add some configuration which i will explain sometime later so even i let me update that query so that i can have less than 100k results so now I'm saying where is descendant under path means my site. So I'm saying, okay, search all the pages as a node under my AMT site. So if you see it, it, they, it search all the pages means that node which has a primary type of page content and it's 86 results. And so if I check like the query uh, property, let's say I want to check the property as well, the, these nodes means the pages which has a title not null let's say not null okay so execute still i see 86 results so let let's remove a property from one of the page means title from one of the page okay let me remove from the spanish site this is a card and title okay so let me remove this title here so i remove this title now ideally there should be 85 results not 86 because i removed and this condition will not fulfill for this page if i execute this it's 85 results right which are correct or even check if property is null as well so let's say when jci title is null okay now this must be one result right and it is same the card page right which which does not have the title because now i'm saying okay i need a page where gcr title is not null it should be not null and not null and the title is page title is author so if i search This search gave me these much of results means there is a nine pages under all the site which has a title author, right? So in there might be like pages in EN, 
uh, ES and some France, German in all the sites this page is present. Okay, now check how you can use like. So I'm saying, okay, title, page title, and it, what kind of like means substring. So I'm saying, okay, the page should start, means title should start from AEM and later on can has anything. So if I click, you see only the one page came, which actually the root page of this. And the title of this is AEM Geeks. Okay, so if I say, okay, let me can have anything before or after but in between at least I need a substring called geeks uh, there is a one page only again this is the page so let's say I have some pages mm, under author okay I have test pages so let's say what I'm saying I need test let me check what is the name of those pages uh, sorry title test okay so I'm saying I need test the page should start from test and later on means page title and later on can have anything so let's see okay it gave me these much of pages which title start from test and later on it has anything uh, it has one two uh, if you see here it's a title test one test two and test three so that way you can search for a substring in your properties. You can either the title, name or anywhere, whatever your search criteria is. I can use any property to arrange this means ascending or descending order. So what I'm saying, okay, order by last modified. So if I hit it, show me the last modified in ascending order means the latest one will be at last. Okay. So if I, uh, say desc descending order so you see the test one is at first and now the last one is at you know this one last so let me update this page test one just let me open it so i updated this page and i added this last modified date something manually in crxd so if i search hit now you see that page has come at first because this is the latest means we are arranging in descending order. The I hope you understood how to write a basic SQL2 query and how you can execute that in AEM. That was a very simple use case. In coming tutorial, I will explain very complex scenarios uh, by using SQL2. Uh, and also I will explain how to use Java API for SQL2. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.